was in 1981 at the McDonald's All-American game in Wichita, Kansas. As soon as I saw him on the court, he was different. Every practice session was like game seven. And he did that relentlessly every single session. Okay, he's dominating us. He's the, he's the best player in the gym by far. You see this. But can he do it against NBA players at that next level? 1984 Olympic team, we went on a, somewhat of an NBA tour against NBA All-Stars to prepare for the Olympics in LA. All the stars showed up. Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, Kevin McHale. The best player on the court was Michael Jordan, this junior from the University of North Carolina. And I think ultimately, it, it was the preview of the greatest player of all time coming on the scene. A terrific aerial view of the Hoosier Dome here in Indianapolis, where we are moments away from tip-off. And now, let's go across the floor. Time to hear the player introductions. Welcome, fans. A 6-1 summer. Welcome, everyone. Joined by Clark Kellogg and Coach Mike Fratello. I'm Kevin Harlan. With us on the sidelines, David Aldridge. We're all set here for what promises to be an exciting exhibition game between Team USA and Mike, a squad of NBA stars. That's right, Kev. Team USA, of course, the team assembled from amateur talents across the country, which will go on to compete in the games this summer. Lots of young guys looking to make a splash in this one. Our Team USA has its work cut out for them, taking on these NBA stars. No kidding. You got that right. Just look at the roster for the NBA stars, and you'll see that the name is very appropriate. These are some of the best players the league has to offer. A bunch of big name talent on their bench. The best of the best, you're right. Out there for Team USA, we've got Steve Alford and Michael Jordan at the one and two, then Chris Mullen at the small four, Wayman Tisdale at power four, and down low, it's Sam Perkins. And out there for the NBA stars, Isaiah Thomas is running things at the point, with Jim Paxson and Mark Aguirre at the two and three. And then it's teammates Larry Bird and Robert Parrish filling out the front court. We know this game doesn't go on anybody's record, but you can tell these players aren't about to come out here and just make each other look good. I think that speaks to the quality of the players on these two squads. These are all true competitors. Here is Paxson. Pass to Thomas. And now Team USA on the break. Here's Olford. Stolen by Parrish. Fast break. It's the NBA star. Bird with the ball. There's Bird finding the bucket already, proving his offensive value for the NBA star. It only makes this game more interesting to watch as a fan. Clark, the fact that both teams are playing for keeps is so interesting. Yeah, I agree with you. I think this contest is going to be full of a lot of up and down basketball. If you blink, you're going to miss it. I'm expecting a lot of high intensity, high effort play for both sides to be pushing themselves to be at their best. Clark, there's so much to be excited about watching this unique matchup. But the biggest question is the most obvious one. And that's who's going to win this game. Look, I don't want to be a guy that fudges on picks, but it could go either way, Kevin. I mean, Team USA has a lot of hungry and ambitious young talents, but don't expect the NBA stars just to show up and roll over. I think they also want to win this thing. They got a lot of pride, don't they? Yes, they do. Paxson passes to Aguirre. From 11 feet away, again, the Stars score. This is why he's a focal point of their offense, because they trust in his ability to shoulder them when needed. Michael Jordan on the wing, guarded by Paxson. Alford passes to Tisdale. Here's Jordan. Bird pulls it in. One guy we're going to keep a close eye on tonight, Mike, and this one is Michael Jordan out of North Carolina with a ton of promise. And everyone wants to see how he measures up against real pros. Defensive. No better time to get a sense of what he might be capable of in the NBA. To go along with his length, Parrish is an efficient scorer with a variety of moves. And he's good on the second. 
Team USA trails by nine. Here's Jordan. Jordan wasting no time, showing these NBA stars what he can do. You know, one of the major offensive weapons out there for Team USA is Michael Jordan. He plays and scores at a very, very high level and could maybe give some of these NBA stars a run for the money. We know he's competitive, and he's certainly going to try to prove a little something out there. That's for sure. Well, Jordan is also special because he's fun to watch. Once he takes that first step to go on the attack, you can't take your eyes off of him. He's a remarkable young talent. Here's Jordan. And it's the NBA stars with the rebound. Thomas surveying the D. Legion foul. Steve Alford. For the stars, McHale's checked Second in for Dwight. Whitman comes in for Pax, and it's Easting in for Thomas. And the stars have possession. McHale inside. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Rebounded by Perkins, something he's become very good at while at UNC. And plenty of storylines to cover, but our sideline reporter, David Aldrich, as usual, is all over. David. Thanks very much. Now, everyone knows these are just exhibition games, but neither the Olympic team nor the NBA stars have any intention of taking it easy on one another. The tone seems to be surprisingly serious among these players. Guys, back to you. Well, that's going to be interesting. David, thank you. I don't know what to expect from tonight's game, Mike. It's, it's going to be fascinating to watch. To me, that comes as no surprise. No matter the consequences of your game, you always want to play your very best. Against the best, correct? I mean, my goodness. You know, something that could give the NBA stars an edge are the little things. Oftentimes, I say the playing things are the main things, and you learn that as a pro. Little attention to detail type stuff like playing a strong transition game or being able to read and anticipate where a play is going. That's stuff that pros do. You might just see more high IQ plays coming from the NBA stars. They'll be a little more calculated with their approach, where Team USA might try to just get things done with sheer willpower and effort. And then slammed in by Jordan. He's got that ball on a string. Jordan using his smooth handles to get that bucket. Both teams here are dealing with unfamiliar lineups, playing with guys they usually play against. It'll be interesting to see how they adapt to best fit that. Well, Mike, to me, it simply looks like a glorified high-level playground game. I mean, you got to make adjustments on the fly, adapt to one another. For Team USA and the NBA stars, that's going to be the case. If something isn't working, the coach just has to be adaptable. And the athleticism of Jordan is out of this world. Simply just an incredible player who does whatever he wants on offense. The Stars making a switch here. Reed's checked in. And he's been locked in from the line, proving he's someone that you don't want to foul. On loads. And once again off the mark by the Stars. Solid defense down low, defending the rim. Here's Jordan. Rebound the Stars. Parrish has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Whitman. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Mullen passes to Tisdale. Jordan high post. Shoots it. They grab their own miss. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You really can't overstate how many exciting rising stars there are on this Team USA roster. Dynamic college athletes, many of whom already have big NBA expectations attached to them. Team USA trails by four. Jordan with the ball. And it's McHale picking him up. Randy Team USA stringing together a decent run here while the NBA stars try to break a whole streak. And a new group getting ready for the Stars. Williams, he's checked in for Parrish. McGuire comes in for Reed. Paxson, he's checked in for Whitman. And Thomas subbed in for Seastan. Guys like Perkins and Jordan and Ewing all seem like, to me, Clark, potential first-round picks. And I agree, Kevin, and it's a very interesting thought. 
to consider while you watch how they handle these NBA stars. I mean, in some ways, this is like a first real taste of pro competition for these guys. Mike, I could see Ewing going number one overall, and I could see Jordan, for instance, going in the top three or four picks. I don't have any arguments there. To the paint, here's Perkins, and it's slammed in by Perkins. Well, when Perkins has the ball in that situation, Sam knows how to finish. Coach Fratello, a basket here would be huge. They need to break up this run. A big part of Team USA strategy has to be making the NBA stars earn their looks. Nothing easy. If they give up quality shots, you know these pros are going to knock them down. So they've got to take away those easy, good looks. Coach, no question Team USA is going to have to work overtime to effectively defend the NBA star. Well, outworking the pros might just be the key. Team USA is full of energetic young guys. So all out effort on that end could be the difference maker. Bird, he's checked in for the stars. Here's a quarter. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. This is just what a wire does. Figure out ways to put the ball in the bucket. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And it's Team USA with the ball, trailing by two. Jordan, the pass to Alford. Jordan against Paxson. Perkins trying to break loose. Oh, he misses the dunk. Something that's really making this game special is this crowd. I'm told it's over 60,000 people who pack in here to see Team USA take on the NBA stars. 60,000 people. I mean, that's enormous. For a rare look mark, it's so many amazing players. And Kevin, it's not surprising at all that many are salivating for this matchup. And I'm sure there are plenty of you folks at home who couldn't be here in person, but you're making just as much noise as these fans are in the building. And now we can enjoy it together. Me, Mike Clark, and all of you. Well, we're pretty far along in the first half now. And Clark, it's the NBA stars who have the advantage on the scoreboard, as we can see showing us they came ready to win this thing. Not allowing Team USA to catch them unprepared and unfocused. Jordan outside. Over Paxson. And once again off the mark by Team USA. There's the lob to the hoop, and the dunk by Aguirre. Boy, Aguirre's timing on that alley-oop, superb. Great chemistry between he and his teammates. Here's Jordan. NBA stars try to stop him, but no. A great dunk by Jordan. No room for error there because he threw it down with both hands. Pretty smart. Yeah, with the score this close, you can't afford any mistakes. Boy, a miss slam would have been deflating. Nice to see him finish it off. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Here's Jordan. Tisdale passes to Jordan. Inside. And he goes in for the jump. When you face Jordan, you put so much focus on MJ that it creates openings for other guys. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for the NBA star. So the wing on the left. Chris Muller. The Stars have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. That free throw, no good. Robert Parrish has checked in for the NBA star. Woodson comes in for Paxson. He doesn't get the second one. You know, Mark Aguirre does really just about everything you would ask of him on the floor. Not much that he can't do. Team USA trails by four. Jordan kicks to Mullen. Whistle blows, but it is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Boy, what a ruthless, wicked dribble move that time by George. Threw his defender off and got the space he needed to fire. Reed, he's checked in for a glide. He throw good, Jordan. Out to the wing. Out to the right wing. Here's Woodson. And that one, no good to start him off in the night. 
And here's Team USA now. Let's go to David Aldridge and see what he's picking up on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Now, I have found something that both teams go to agree on. They think that these games are the best possible way to prepare the Olympic team for international competition. The NBA stars are among, if not the, best players in the world. So who better to challenge USA skills and bring them closer together as a team? Back to you guys. That's a good point. Thanks for that, D.A. Clark, any thoughts on these coaches' assessment? Well, Kevin, I fully agree with them. I mean, there's no way you can agree with them. Playing against the top talent is really the best way to develop your own game and grow as a player. You know the old saying, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another. Oh, and what McHale's checked in for the NBA Stars. 1-11 left in the first half of basketball. Seasting passes to McHale, takes the 13-footer, goes back up, and it's Parrish getting it to go. Parrish has got his third bucket of the night. Parrish cleaning it up for his team, using his length to protect the play and get them the basket. He's shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. And both free throws, good for Jordan. The Stars with the lead, and with a decent amount of this game already gone, Michael Jordan has been, Coach, just superb on offense. Yeah, this NBA star squad has not been able to shut him down. And he's outpacing Larry Bird in terms of scoring because of it. Can you believe what you just said? Outpacing Larry Bird. I mean, it's amazing. That's saying a lot. Yeah. Here's Olford. Pass to Tisdale. Jordan with it. 24 points for him. Tries again. Rebound by the Stars. 17 seconds left to play in the first half. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at Michael the free throw line. Two shots. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. You know, I think that was a message-sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. To the middle. Here's Tisdale. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. MJ. Jordan's got three assists tonight. With one on the clock. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Stars out in front, up to... Welcome back, everyone, for the second half of action in this exhibition game between Team USA and the NBA Stars. It has been a fun one so far. And so in the game for Team USA. Alford out there with Michael Jordan. Then it's Perkins. Then it's Mullen. And it's Tisdale in at the four-man position. What stood out to me after a full first half of play is the sense of competition out there on the floor. The NBA stars aren't handling Team USA with kid gloves. They're giving their all. And another great look at the 2K drive. That's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from them. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. The devastating throw down by Paris. Man, does he know how to pack a punch. Jordan, the pass to Alford. Jordan with it. Isaiah Thomas covering. Jordan. And it's Bird with the rebound. Bird's got his fourth rebound in this one. And Clark with Team USA, they don't seem to be holding anything back. Without question, if, if these young guys are intimidated by playing against pros, they're not showing any signs of that. And you know, it's not so easy to have to go up against the guys you're accustomed to looking up to, Kevin. That takes a lot of confidence. A lot of guts, you're right. Hey, you better get a body on him and box him out. Yeah, he makes him pay, you're right. And unless you get a body on him, He's going to continue to do that. Outside, Aguirre. Knocked loose. And he gets the bucket. Aguirre's got nine. 
Nice job by Aguirre, finding available space down low and exploiting it. In some ways, this game between Team USA and the NBA Stars is a classic matchup of youth versus experience. No one knows this game better than the NBA Stars, but Team USA has such explosive athleticism. Here's Jordan. It's hauled in by Bird. Bird's got his sixth rebound on the night. Upside Thomas. Let's it fly from 18. And it's good for two. Now it's a four-point Stars lead. So, Clark, if this is a battle of youth versus experience, which wins out? Kevin, that's a hard call. It's tough to pick a favorite here. I mean, I think Team USA could surprise us by keeping the energy level high as this game wears on. But down the stretch, I tend to lean towards the experience of the veterans because they've been here and done this so many times before. Yeah, they know how to finish strong. Exactly. Second half is underway, and for the moment, it's the NBA star who are out ahead. And, you know, Kevin, this is where Team USA will really be tested. I mean, because they have to maintain their focus, keep fighting, and keep their composure and confidence. Pros never give up on the game. Yeah, this is a great challenge for Team USA. Mm-hmm. The pass to Aguayo. Trying to find Bird. He's got it now. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, that was a nice pump fake move by Bird that time, putting the defender off balance and then drawing the foul. The Stars making the switch here. Whitman's checked in. Bird hits them both. A big guy who can knock them down from the line. There are no easy tricks or hacks for limiting his offensive output. Back to Jordan. Perkins with a screen on Whitman. No good from Jordan. You know, his scoring has just been AWOL this quarter. I'm not sure what the issue is, but his team is doing what they can to try and get him going. You know, I find this an interesting challenge that all of these players have to deal with. Playing with a coach they're not quite familiar with. Defensive. That can be more challenging than it seems when you haven't had a lot of practice time to build up a relationship there. Mike, you can speak about this, but I've always thought it's an interesting dynamic when players have a new or temporary coach in control. It's really all about respect. As a player, you have to respect what the coach is trying to do. And as a coach, you have to respect that the players aren't fully accustomed to your style and be patient with them. Sounds like communication key. Jordan can't get it to go. And the Stars leading by five. Bird, the pass to Seasting. And now Team USA on the break. And it's slammed in by Perkins. That gives him the double-double. Ten points and 11 rebounds. Smart read by Mullen. Recognizing the overcommitment and burning the defense for him. Woodson's checked in for Bird. Substitution on the court. Here is Seasting. This is to McHale. Wayman Tisdale. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Passes it to Woodson. Here's Whitman. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That'll be his second foul of the game. Fourth Reed, he's checked in for the NBA stop. Substitution on the court. Woodson 11 feet away and the jumper is good and the Stars lead by five Team USA with the ball a lot of this game already in the books and offensively coach Michael Jordan has been putting on a show finding shot after shot after shot and taking a big scoring lead over Larry Bird I really think this NBA Stars unit was just unprepared for Jordan <laughs> Maybe they thought an amateur would be easy to guard. Well, maybe they did. I don't know. It has been interesting, though, had not it? NBA stars leading by five. Jordan with the steal. Come on. He gets the shot to fall. The defender wasn't set. He's called for the block and a three-point play chance here. He throws good, Jordan. One shot. Tip 
knocked away and stolen by Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. The defensive instincts of MJ kicking in. Terrific at sensing when to go for the steal. Here's Woodson. It's hauled in by Team USA. Tisdale's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Jordan dishes the mullet. For the lead, Perkins trying to break loose. Jordan outside. Second shot opportunity. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. A testament to his superior strength. I like watching Jordan muscle through contact and finish. The NBA stars making some changes. Parrish comes in for Williams. Isaiah Thomas is subbed in for Whitman. Here's Woodson. And again, no good by the NBA star. Jordan deciding where to go with it. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. One on one here. It'll go when the Team USA lead is cut down to one on the bucket from Woodson. The basis of our game is the pass. Sharing, being a great teammate. Jordan, and Jordan throws it down. What catches my eye as this game wears on is the consistency of Team USA. Young guys often start to lose focus down the stretch, but not Team USA. Such a wide open look. Well, he's so crafty, Isaiah Thomas, and really unselfish. A pass first point guard who knows exactly when one of his guys is open and how to get it to him. Perkins kicks to Jordan. And the rejection by Parrish. A little taste of NBA-level defense for Jordan there. He can't expect to get every look he wants. Defense and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The concentration from Team USA could be an indication of mark of good coaching. That's part of it, but it also can indicate player IQ. I mean, these aren't just college players. I mean, they're the very best of the college guys. They know what it takes to win games, and focus is a big part of that. You said it. Catching up on the changes for the NBA stars. Bird comes in for McHale, and it's Jackson in for Woodson. in the penalty. And the first one goes. The versatility of Bird is really special, especially how he scores and distributes the ball in different ways. The Stars making the switch here. Aguirre's checked in. You look at these NBA pros as this game continues to roll on, and you can really tell they just love to compete. None of them have to be here, but they relish the chance to test themselves against Team USA. I'm sure Team USA is very appreciative of the NBA stars for taking the time to come play these games against them. I could not agree with you more, Kevin. There'll be plenty of heartfelt thanks and handshakes after the game, though. Not while things are going on. Both of these teams are going to be playing their hearts out and competing at a high level. What a great test. Yeah. And that one, good. Alford's got his first two points. I like how Perkins keeps the game simple. Notices when his teammates are wide open. Shoots from the elbow. No good off the back of the rim. And so Jordan will bring it up for Team USA. It's a three-point game. You know, every player wants to win a game they're playing in. But in this matchup, there's some extra pride and motivation on the line. These NBA stars want to put the next generation in check. And Team USA wants to show us they're ready for the lead. With the game in the balance, can't ask for a better look than that. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 37. Yeah, Jordan's so crafty in the pick and roll. He's unpredictable and hard to stop in these situations. That drive on the line certainly has added some extra might intensity to this game. You can just see it in the eyes of the players, especially here late in the game. This game might not count for the record books, but these teams are hungry to prove that they can get the better of each other. This has really been fun. First free throw is good. And as we enter the home stretch of this contest, Clark, the NBA stars are in command of the lead. Well, the effort from Team USA has been good. They've been playing hard, but the NBA stars just have that little bit of extra know-how, that veteran savvy, and that's helped them find the lead. The defender tried, 
but that's the Chief, Robert Parrish. Jordan passes to Perkins, kicks it out to Jordan. Screen by Perkins. Excellent D there from Parrish. You know, we haven't seen much from Michael Jordan so far, but in a close game, I think he could make the difference when he decides to step up, if he does so. This has been classic bird all night so far, scoring with ease and just knocking down shots on Team USA. Stolen by Parrish. Here's Bird. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Always looks like Bird is a step ahead. Makes it very difficult to slow him down. He hits the second from the line. Team USA trails by eight. Jordan the pass to Tisdale. Down low. And it's Parrish finishing it off. And Parrish's guys like taking advantage of his length, which is why they love him alley -oops. Now Jordan. Defensive foul. Robert Parrish. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. And both free throws good for Jordan. And the Stars leading by eight. Rolls up on the elbow. And it's Tisdale with the rebound. Jordan inside. Guarded by Paxson. Jordan's shot is off. Goes up on the wing. It's good. Paxson's got the lead up to 10 now for the Stars. Showing off his touch, Paxson finds a mid-range look and nails it. Jordan up top. Guarded by Paxson. Poked loose. Jordan with the steal. And Moen gets it to go on the assist by Jordan. Jordan's got four assists now tonight. So it's the Stars now. Now, here's Thomas to the inside. And they pick up two. Parrish has got 20 points. And when Parrish is active like this, his teammates look for him, which helps get him into a rhythm. Jordan, the pass to Tisdale. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Steve, at the line for two. Good on the first, and that will put them up by nine. The perfect leader. Isaiah Thomas runs the show at the point, but he also leads the way in the locker room. 137 left in the second half of basketball, and they double up Jordan. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Fantastic anticipation with that feed. Outside Thomas. Pass to Paxson. Outside Thomas. Here's a player. And it's Tisdale with the rebound. Tisdale's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Jordan with the ball. And it's Bird picking him up. Stolen by Bird. And he drops in the way up off the glass. That's a pretty good play by Bird, showing you some of that deceptive athleticism. Getting around the contact and into a shot. A shot by Jordan, no good. One guy who has been missing in action this game is Michael Jordan. And I think Team USA's current position really reflects that. They needed more from him. That free throw, good from Paxson. The combo guard Paxson at 6'6 six six has great size in his position and looks to score whenever he can. There's 49 seconds left here in the second half. Perkins trying to break loose. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Bird with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Bird dishes to Thomas. Trying to find Bird. He's got it now. Here's Parrish. Down and drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. 
This was a no-doubter here, a no-brainer, complete domination in every facet of the game. And this game wasn't even as close as the score indicates. Nothing you can do but shake this one off, and things happen to you like that. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. Nixon outside. And so that'll do it. It's the NBA Stars coming out on top over Team USA. Like an exciting game, but in the end, the pros take the win. Well, some people might say this was the obvious outcome. But Team USA did put up a fight. They just couldn't overcome true pro league caliber players. I think this game is sort of a lesson that these young Team USA players, Clark, will hold up.